common myth is that if you eat before you go to bed, your body is going to be sleeping and passive while you're digesting, and therefore you're not going to be burning the calories as well. Now this is unfortunately just a myth, which, well, I should say fortunately, it's just a myth because that means that we can eat later towards bedtime. And that is because the body does not look at these short periods of time just throughout the night or evening when it comes to burning, obviously, its metabolic rate and burning food. It's going to look at that in a much bigger perspective of time. So uh, the bigger picture here is what's important, how much energy you're getting in consuming through food versus how much you're expending through activity and, and, and keeping yourself uh, alive. Okay, so that equation there needs to be looked at a much longer perspective than just the short term window of from your first meal to the next morning. So if you're thinking about um, eating late after you come home late from work, whatever, and, you, and you're worried that that's going to become more stored as, as fat throughout the evenings, then don't worry about that. Just think about the total amount of calories that you're consuming versus the total amount of calories that you're burning throughout the day or maybe a week's perspective, okay? Now there are some things that might be helpful if in that meal, we wanna make sure that meal does not disrupt our ability to sleep. So if you're eating something that is creating discomfort um, or bloating in the gut, then obviously that is not going to be helpful for you when it comes to having a good night's sleep. So eat something that is going to be relatively easily digestible, we also want to have some kind of protein in there to help us maintain a little bit of our anabolic state throughout the night and help fighting uh, muscle breakdown. So some protein, make it something that's easily digestible. And then finally, don't be afraid of adding carbs to that meal. The carbohydrates is going to help produce serotonin, which is going to be part of producing the hormone called melatonin, which is the hormone that helps us induce sleep and get tired. Okay, so some good protein, some good carbohydrates and an easily digestible meal. Try to get that in your meal before you go to bed and the total calorie intake needs to match your goals and you'll be fine.